Hello, my name is Gung Wan. I'm the CEO and co-founder here at Civic Champs. Um, we launched actually in 2019. That's where I got to meet some of the tech folks. So super excited to be back here again. Um, and so Civic Champs, what we do is we provide volunteer management software for nonprofits. Right? And so uh, what does that mean? Well, we can actually triple the amount of uh, volunteer capacity that nonprofits get and decrease the amount of manual uh, labor that they're using uh, today to, to, to manage all the volunteers by 85%, right? So tripling and decreasing by 85%. And so if you think about as a nonprofit, what would you do with all that extra capacity or extra time that you get? I think there's a lot more impact, right, that you would be able to deliver to your constituents. And that's what we're really excited about. And so the reason we got inspired originally was you know, it's was, was this, this image right here, right? Which is even today, thousands of nonprofits still rely on pen and paper to, to manage things like volunteer check-ins, scheduling, right? Things that take a ton of time. And not only are they, you know, inefficient, um, not very fun to do, but also limits the amount of uh, sort of innovation that you can have in that space, right? In terms of engaging the volunteers more deeply. And so Civic Champs, we're a full-fledged platform. So if we manage everything from uh, recruitment, to messaging, to calendaring, to check-ins, to reporting, um, to getting feedback from volunteers. So everything that a volunteer manager might need to uh, be effective, right? And so what does that look like? So this is one of our customers. This is their website, the Kanza United Way. This is our embedded calendar. So you can see that you can sign up for an event right here. You can click into it. You get all the details of when, where, how, right? How many shifts are still open. You select what time you want to do it, uh, what shift you want to do. You get an automated reminder the day before, right? You get a calendar invite. Um, all of that pretty straightforward for everyone that's in tech, right? But unfortunately, I think for lots of folks in the nonprofit space, not always as um, accessible, right? The other thing that's really exciting about us is that we actually are mobile first, right? That's where we started. And so you can do all, everything you can do online, you can do on mobile. And so what you're looking at here is our mobile sign-up uh, sheet here. And so you can see what events are available. You can go into them, you can click register and sign up online uh, on the mobile one. And then what we also do is when volunteers show up on site, we use technology like geofencing, right? And so when you show up, you can, in two seconds, right? Super simple, you click the check-in button, pick the event that you're in, and you're checking in as a volunteer. The data is simple, it's clean, right? You, and this is the only thing they need to do. You can close the app at this point, we'll auto check them out um, at the end of their shift. Uh, but all that data is nice and clean. But if they do remember, right, uh, we also ask for feedback, right? This is actually surprisingly uh, rare in the nonprofit space. I don't know the last time a nonprofit asked for feedback when you were volunteering, but key to retention, right? We know how happy someone was, uh, what they thought about the event, and allows you to unlock uh, what we call micro donations. So this is uh, funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the IDEO, uh, where we work with them, and so in this case, for your very excited or happy volunteers, you can ask them for a small dollar donation, um, in this case, matching a dollar per hour. For admins, you can also use our mobile app, right? And so you can see who's gonna show up for the day, all on your phone. You can see their contact info if you need to reach out to them. You can check them in on their behalf if you want to. And even better, you can select the folks that are supposed to show up and message them, text or email. So let's say you have a rain delay, you can make sure you let them know ahead of time. On the back end, of course, reporting is super important. So this is our admin dashboard with the champions of review tab. So at the top, you have your big numbers, um, how many volunteers, how many hours they've done, their estimate impact. You can select uh, what date range you run. Uh, so for reports, if you want uh, you know, the last quarter, the last week, et cetera, you can sort of pick what date range you need that data for. Um, each row here is a volunteer, and so um, you can see their personal info. Um, you can also message or export through the screen, and then if you click in, you can see their actual volunteer profile with all their reviews, emergency contact info, et cetera. If you go to uh, what we call our activity log, you get more detailed information, right? Basically, who did what, when, how long, were they happy or not, right? And you can quickly scan through and see uh, if somebody was unhappy and you wanted to engage them, right? Um, and then here we also have integrations. This is really exciting for people that are in the uh, development space. And so you can get uh, Razor's Edge uh, NXT integration with Civic Champs now. And super exciting from just a couple weeks ago, uh, we have a new beta that's rolling out with a little green light as well. So that's super exciting. Um, these are a few folks that we serve. Uh, so uh, nonprofits of all sizes. 
Um, and we're really excited to have great advisors and investors with us. And since it's a TechSoup event, I would be remiss not to mention that we do have a TechSoup deal with up to 15% off. <laughs>